Today, I want to show you how you can decode your destiny. And it's really interesting and easy. Now, I've been doing this for 15 years already. And when I first started teaching this subject, you know, I used to be really technical and, and explain too many technical things and it was a little bit difficult for people to understand. And over the years, I've refined that. Now I have a new way to introduce a really simple system where by the end of today, you could find out a lot just by looking at the chart. Now, in your destiny chart, we could see the two very important things. It can answer two questions. Number one, it can answer, who am I? Okay, meaning it tells you who you are. Now, meaning that includes your personality and character and so forth, right? And the other question is, what can happen to you as a result of who you are? The thing is, with this uh, knowledge that you have today, you're going to find out what sort of hidden talents that you have. Now, there will, oh, I will also be discussing two very important things, okay? One is how you can make more money. You interested in this topic or not? It's very important. Everyone is saying money should be interested, right? Okay? So, I will also explain to you how to, in your chart, whether you have it or not, okay? If you don't have it, what can you do? Now, I believe that every chart has the potential to become wealthy. Every chart. It's a question of whether you know or not, because awareness brings change, okay? If you're not aware, then you find out at 80 years old, right? maybe a bit too late, okay? As early as possible, you want to find out, okay? Second thing you want to find out is how you connect with other people. That's the concept of relationship. It's very important. Do you think relationship is important? Very important, right? Because everything and everything you want comes from the help of other people. So if you connect well with others, you can get most of the things that you really want. Every time when we talk about change, you have to look at this thing called the change map. Okay? It's extremely important. It starts with your life. Okay? Who you are. So this part here represents you. This is you. Okay? Now, in order for you to make a change, Okay, let's say I want to make change. Change. Okay, change something you don't like today, yeah? Or in your entire life. Anything. This applies through your entire life. Okay, you don't like anything you want to change, then it boils down to one very simple concept something new. Okay, so either something new comes into your life or something new comes out of your life. Then something will change. Correct or not? Okay, this is yin and yang, yeah. external and internal. Okay, your life can only change when something new comes in or something new comes out from you. Okay, exactly the way you are right now, nothing changed. Alright, can you understand this concept or not? So the idea of learning from your partner is you want to find out what new things you can create. Because once you understand your chart, you understand all the strengths and potential in your chart. So you want to activate that as soon as possible. Your environment can support you, your environment can also work against you. And people can change in, when they live in different places or use, use different space or even work in different areas. So, you see, the, um, just now there was an um, interview, someone was asking me, you know, you know, how do you tell a skeptic about feng shui? Okay, how do you actually encourage them and, and to use this? It's very simple. You use feng shui, it's literally zero investment cost. Okay, all you have to do is try. Okay, let's say it doesn't work. What's your loss? You just change rooms or anyone, right or not? No big deal. What if it works? You get better at your, your intelligence, your, your academic style. All right? Now, with feng shui, it's very simple, right? We always say, you know, if you don't use the good things, try the bad things first. All right? See the effect of the bad things, whether you poke guy or not. If you poke guy already, that means it's correct, right or not? Then you use the good things, very effective after that. All right? Now, now you use the positive, huh? okay, those who already tried, obviously you know the results, right? So, you know, as I said, feng shui is not the be all and end all, okay? I'm the first one that can tell you that, you know, feng shui is not the thing that you live and eat and sleep with it. Meaning, you know, you don't live your life by the rules of feng shui. It's not like that. It's meant to facilitate your life. It's not meant to rule your life. Same thing with astrology. If you are one of those superstitious type, please don't learn this because you get really superstitious with everything, okay? In fact, astrology is about making informed decisions. It's basically about knowing things, become aware so that you can take action. That's all, you know. Doesn't mean that uh, some people ask me just now, there's questions, submit, uh, they say, is it true that the more I read, the shorter my life becomes? Not true. Some people ask questions like that. Huh? Okay, it's not true, right? That you are, the more you read, your life becomes short. And also, it's not tin k pat hao sit lao. You know, some people say, secrets of heaven cannot be revealed. 
not because secrets cannot be revealed, okay? It's just that you don't know any, that's the thing. All this information is readily available. If you have it, you become better. Become better what? A better version of you. That's all. You can't become a different person. You can become a better version of you. Your maximum level, okay? Become better. So, feng Shui is basically your environment, your external luck. Remember external luck? You want that to support you so that you can activate all this at the same time, okay? Sometimes it's just a small help, you know, that can change everything. Don't you think so? One small little help, such as an intelligence star or a nobleman star, one small thing can make or break the deal. Correct, right? Life, right? So basically, feng shui and astrology basically represents diagnosis and prescription, okay? You find you only need to use the prescription when you have a problem. Okay, you don't really need to do feng shui every single thing, you know. A lot of people are like, oh, everything is so much fixed, la, sleep this direction, la, door that direction. You know, a lot of times if you look at the chart, you, your, your own property, you only need to find out what you're weak in and fix that one problem. Okay, 